then you know the next question arises why only male attract why only female select can it be a sex floor differential can male attract male select female attract and i'm saying usually or mostly the male attract why you know when we look at the attributes the male and female there are difference i'm not turning the male biased i'm not is the sex sexist i'm not a gender biased but yes in nature there are difference in nature there are difference male and female so it's natural i always salute a female because female is so hard working they take all the responsibilities aapne bhi dekha hoga ghar pe who take more major share of the household is mainly the female is mainly the mother so what i mean the major rearing rooting the task goes to mother not only this if it dies from child till adult till 50 60s later there so many changes in the female body which takes place isn't it isn't it there are hormonal changes if you look at the male human beings when they reach the adolescent there are so much of changes they bear so much of pain they bear so much of responsibilities they undergo hormonal cycle changes throughout the life or throughout the reproductive life at least so just at the adolescent may not there is a change in the hormonal estrogen and progesterone level the story wanted to hear during pregnancy again there is a whole change in the hormone level whole change in the behavioral whole change in the physiology so female grew rear the infant in the womb then for the main point and here during menopausal changes again there is a drastic change in the female body so what i need to say there and what what is there in case of male nothing after adolescent to a speaker principle to pehle sab bachche bachche the adolescent to a testosterone level par male laga hua hai and they are producing sperm cells all and they do throughout life और कुछ तो चेंज नहीं होता ना उनके कस्टिस्ट्रोल लेवल में तो कुछ ज्यादा चेंज नहीं होता माइनर चेंजेस होते हैं उनके तो व्हाट आई वांट टू से इज द फीमेल हैव लॉट ऑफ फ्लक्चुएशन द फिजियोलॉजी एंड सो व्हाट आई वांट टू से आई एम नॉट अ सेक्सिस्ट आई एम नॉट जेंडर बायस बट यस देयर इज अ लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंस इन द टू सेक्सेस एंड व्हाट वी कॉल्ड इट सेक्सुअल डिफरेंस सॉरी एंड व्हाट वी कॉल्ड इज द एसिमेट्री ऑफ सेक्स it's the term of morphology in the term of physiology the term of hormone in the term of chemistry and all these things look at the in the aspects of gametes how many gametes are produced by male or female in the life cycle if i want to count the number of gametes produced by a female they are limited numbers in the book number they are limited but in the time of energy time resources spend the time of time energy resources expenses to produce an ova what is there they have to spend lot resources time energy to produce a single ova number is limited investment is more in production of ova is that it do you agree to it Yes. Yeah. What about the sperm? Number. I can say almost infinite. Production of ova. So now let's see the number. This is very rare. This bird, you can say, this is a very rare, and it has eight billion sperms in its testes. Such a large number of sperm. Eight billion sperm. But eight billion is actually nothing. When we talk about coho salmon, you know coho salmon. What is coho salmon? Coho coho salmon is a fish. And you know, अभी तो मैं इसको eighty billion eight billion में मुझे पूछ कर रहा था कि eighty billion जो बर्थडे के eight billion sperm है, coho salmon तो ये खत्म हो रहा है निकल गया है. Hundred billion sperms are released. 
two fertilizer batch of 2500 egg released by a female. Female in these 3500 eggs released kare, or koho samane is per 100 billion sperm. 100 billion sperm means 10 to the power 11. Yep. Sperms are released during single ejaculation. Human being, in a single ejaculate, 350 million sperms are released. Oh my god. And you know, from the very, very interesting observation, if I look at the number, the spermatozoa of a single man are theoretically sufficient to fertilize all the ova of all the females produced in the globe. Earth may jitne bhi females hain, jitne bhi wo ova produce karenge, unko fertilize karne ke liye, the number of sperms chahiye, for single Amazing. men is sufficient. So I want to say, by these examples, I want to say that male produce a large number of sperms as compared to the females number of sperms. So now you can probably relate. And one thing, second thing is, males spend less time and energy resources in production of sperms in comparison to the time, resources, energy spent by the females. So now if I apply demand and supply, which is the demand which has less supply, more supply. But what is the scarcity? Females are in scarcity. Ova are limited. Sperms are in abundance. So this means, suppose is a waste of resource. Ah, male mate with a female. But then see, I just small, some small number, large number, over large size, small number. Therefore, competition among the males to fertilize the limited supply of eggs. Agree? Things, eggs are in small number. Therefore, there is a competition among the female males to fertilize the limited supply of eggs. Agree to it? And who else in competition? So right now, a poll is a report of female when there's so many males available. Then female means like the best male. Right. And now the second thing is, if there's a competition, then male, what is the pressure on male? Yeah, who can make over pressure to prove that they're the best. So they adopt the strategy to attract the female so they can be selected by the female. So male contribution to the gene next generation increases with the number of female it mates. More the number it mates, more the chance that it will contribute to the the next protein. Whereas female ka kya hoga? Female contribution to the gene to the next generation depends on the type of male it chose. Because it would be getting only one male. Or if the male carries a defective genes, not good source of spermatozoa, so it's got to do production, that production will use time, energy, spend the other people on face. So therefore, the male select the female is juicy. He, she should get the best mating partner. Male, a great female, ke saal, suppose she couldn't, uh, he couldn't contribute. Next, then he is going to make the second female. In fact, they can contribute more. So, these are the two key features. Male contribution to the, gene, to the next generation increase with the number of female it mates. Whereas, female reproductive success, there is no shortage of the willing mates. Rather, the female would be looking for a better male, better resources, better spermatozoa. So, the number of male is not limited. Number of male is there, she will choose the best partner. So what I want to say, there is a mating game versus parental game. Mating game may, the male will try to mate. Parental game may, female will try better to give better set of parenting. 
Female are benefited by taking care of pregnancy offspring, or male will be benefited by mating more number of females. Now, in this case, you have to see one thing. What we call as the male operational sex ratio. Operational sex ratio. That is the ratio of sexually receptive males and sexually receptive females. This ratio is biased toward the male. There are more number of males available at a given time. Yes. Agree to it? Three men ka kya hai? High parental investment. Male ka kya hai? Low parental investment. As difference in gamut size. So, इसलिए reproductive potential कितना ज़्यादा हो जाएगा? Male का high potential reproductive rate. Female का low potential reproductive rate. तो इसलिए सेक्सुअल एक्टिविटी इसकी ज्यादा होगी मेल की हाई लेवल ऑफ सेक्सुअल एक्टिविटी फीमेल की लो सेक्सुअल एक्टिविटी एंड दिस क्रिएट्स मेल बायस सेक्स रेशियो मोर मेल्स आर अवेलेबल देन द फीमेल्स अगर मोर मेल्स अवेलेबल हैं तो नाउ यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड मेल क्या करेंगे कॉम्पीट करेंगे सो दे कैन एक्सेस अ फीमेल So therefore, the male advertises. How will it advertise? You can see that I have such a big spermatophore. Then the female approach. Oh, there are such a good spermatophore. Why oh, we want to mate you? Then you know the female may select the best female, and then they transfer the spermatophore. So normally, usually, I am saying that female select male at birth, but it's not random. There is a logic, there is scientific basis that what is the total contribution in terms of time source energy. And usually, I am saying that scarcity is of female, males are available plenty. But if it is otherwise, males are contributing expensive nuptial gifts. They are indulging spending more time and energy, including the female progeny. Then. The story is otherwise. And now, one of the very very interesting stuff is operational sex ratio can change over the period. This is what it is. We see when the fruit supply is less, 